What's up guys, Sharpen here, and before I begin the video, I want to say something. Divided 4 is out. Nearly two years of work have come to an end. It's done, the premiere is already there, sitting there, waiting to be watched, counting down till the 17th of April. And ladies and gentlemen, you are all invited to come join us at the premiere. This is a big deal for me, I want you all there. Spread the word, come join us, because it's gonna be lit. Not sure about your time zone, but this is when it's gonna play. So yeah, you're all welcome. Now back to the video. Today we have, again, a video which has been suggested for a very long time. And excuse my inactivity lately. I just have a lot of different projects to work on at the moment, plus this month is very, very packed as far as school and work goes. So after this month, it should be easier. But till then, it's gonna go slower, like kinda what we're doing right now. But yes, today we're doing the hand rigs tutorial. Yeah, make your characters have fingers and stuff. So you've probably come across a situation where you wanted your character to have fingers. You thought it looks nice or because you wanted him to grab something and the QB Minecraft hands are kind of inefficient to do that I guess. So Oblivion is a good example of the fingers rig because like this is a solid hand rig if I may say so. This is basically what we're going to do. If I open this up, as you see, each finger has its own functionality, as well as the bends. Two joints, just like regular fingers, except the thumb. Thumb only has one, because the other one is hidden in the skin here. We're going to do something like this with our character in today's video. This dude right here. And due to bad experiences, I'm not gonna use the model page, because, you know, crashes all the time and stuff. I'm gonna use my animator, just to be sure. But the method is very, very similar, except you use a different software. It's the same. So, where should we start? I'm gonna open up the project tab and click open because this will now locate my file and I want to delete all the stuff that I got from Oblivion. Yeah, now in here I'm gonna open up the skin file. I am currently using paint.net which is a free software that supports layers and transparency and stuff so it's very great you should totally get it the link is in the description. Not my sponsor, I do not have sponsors. And what I want to do with this rig, very simple actually, first of all delete the bottom face of the arm because we're not gonna need that and we're gonna shorten the arm for like one, two, three pixels let's say three pixels so one two three seems like a lot of pixels but it's actually not that much one two three throw this out we don't need this before i save this image click the eyedropper tool and select the color of the skin this is important and here under the colors if you don't see it press f7 wait f5 f6 f5 f4 wait no F8, F8, press F8, toggle the colors window, go to more, and you should see this hexagonal code here, copy it. You need this because we're gonna do something with this later. Now, save the skin file, that's what I meant, yeah. <laughs> the skin should already be modified, so go to resources, select your human thing, and reload, select the resource. So now, this is your skin, this is what you've made. The bottom three pixels are missing, but that's fine because that's literally what we made. This is why we copied the color, because now, you're going to add a new surface, call it bottom. Now, log this bottom onto one of the arms. Whichever one, doesn't matter. I, I pick the right one. And this bottom should have a cost and rotation point of zero. Should be parented to the lower half. It should be paying attention to this because this messes up a lot of stuff. Go to mix color and uh, click in the hexagonal value and pr press control plus V to paste the previously copied number. So this is now the same color as we've copied before. So if I put the mix percent all the way up, the skin is now the same color. Yay! Turn it 90 degrees and put it down by how much exactly I don't know by minus three I believe minus three yup scale it by 0 0.25 and this is slightly glitching in the corners all right maybe maybe let's put a bit more 26 let's say this will do okay don't judge me now as we have this we should move on to the next procedure what I want to do is I want to make this guy have gloves just like oblivion does so let's do that add a new cube call it gloves base or something and now lock the gloves base onto the left arm or right one right arm okay it was the right one I keep forgetting this custom rotation point zero also put it to minus three so it should be in the same place as the what's it called again surface was Jesus my English if you put this down 20 it will look like this 0.25 is the size of the arm uh, I want you to put it to 0.27 so we get the extrusion yeah scale down the Y a bit so like this till you're happy use your gut feeling because your gut knows the best mix percent 100 and put it to 494949 this is gonna be easy to memorize so yeah this is now gonna be the color of my glove Thing. Perfect. Now we're going to abuse the Mimeter physics. If I just randomly import a body part, which is going to be, let's say, the body of Steve. What can bodies do? Well, they can bend in both directions. Do we want that in our fingers? I 
would say no. <laughs> Let's change this body of Steve to a right arm of Steve. Call it finger one. This is what they can do. Bend in one direction, as fingers should. If your fingers bend in both directions, you need some serious medical attention. That should not be happening. This is going to be the finger one. Why one? You'll see in a bit. Lock the fingers one onto the glove's base. Now it's all messed up and funny because the glove's base has been scaled in funny ways. And this is where it gets a bit complicated. Reset the position, put it to zero, zero, zero. So now it's right here in the center of all this. Why is it complicated? Why does it not scale this up when you get a finger, right? Yeah, no, because it's not precise and you're gonna miss something up. Instead, go to the inherit options and tick off the scale. So now this is parented, but it's not gonna inher inherit scale from the parent. So this is also turned sideways, I believe. Turn the entire glove base 90 degrees. So the fingers can have a rotation of zero and still be facing the right way and uh, scale it down 0 0.25 yeah this is like the magical number for fingers and arms and stuff this should be bending as it is and that's pretty much fine so let's put this guy to minus six by the way I'm watching the values right here right? minus six doesn't seem to cut it let's go for minus 12 it's not right because of this uh, glove here because the glove is too big for the extrusion and stuff but that's the amount we chose so we gotta adapt put this up by the same amount so minus 6.12 and it should be in the corner also lower it down to about minus eight. Pivot point is exactly in the corner here and this is now the first layer of your finger. Duplicate this finger in the library, not in the timeline, duplicate it and now call it finger two. You will again see why. Click this icon to have a copy of it in the timeline. Now lock the finger two onto the finger one and it should be locked on the lower half. Yes, that's correct, but I don't want this ugly ass bend here. So let's put this down to minus four, I guess. If I bend both of these to 90 degrees, this should happen. This is how my fingers should bend. Now if I duplicate finger one and move it down by exactly by four, I think it's four. Uh, eek. Yeah, this is right, but the the glove values are of course bigger than they should be. So this is perfect. We're in the right track. So duplicate this again, up by four again. So this should be two and then duplicate it again and add four again and this should be six. So now they're all where they should be. This six should also be minus six and not exaggerate like this before. So minus six on all four of them. This should also be minus six. Ah, correct values, geez. So this is it. If I duplicate one of the fingers again, delete the, the child because I need this to be my thumb, 90 degrees, and this Z should turn into a positive Z6. So this is now how the fingers look like in general. Now select all of those fingers and increase the scale. Why? This suits the measurements of the arm. Now if I put the glove 0.25, as you see all the fingers align and this is all perfectly sized, you know? These measurements are the best. So if you don't want a glove with an extrusion, you can use this method because it aligns them nicely. But my glove is now bigger because I have extrusions and these fingers are not scaled with the cube. So they're still the same small size, but the sizing is that much bigger. So I need to scale them additionally. So this cube is 0.27. So if I select all of my fingers now and go to 0.27, they should all align perfect. But instead, I'm going to go to 0.69 just so I avoid all the nasty glitching. This is now my arm. And if you noticed, it's exactly the same size as the arm was before. So this is the normal arm size in Minecraft. So what's bothering me is this little hole here. Shouldn't fingers be like more square and stuff? This is very flat. It looks realistic and it is realistic. This hole isn't supposed to be like this. So let's scale up in the Y. This turns into more square version. Yes, I do know it's glitching, then I'm gonna fix it in a second. One, one second. Select all of the fingers and now select all of the child. So the fingers too. By holding down shift, you can select multiple. Go to the scale model and instead of a resize, go to stretch. So these should now all adjust. So this again works it has the square thing but now this finger is very thick yeah it's, it's very thick and also it's kind of improportional when it does this so uh use whichever method you want i'm personally gonna stick to this one because like it looked more original like the bends were more normal and stuff do whatever you want here this is all solely on you uh but now i want to show you the final bit which is the texturing of the arm so go to finger one actually what you want to do is open up the project and click open again so this will open up your project Open up this skin in, in an image editing program, so in this case paint.net, and this, we're gonna make the first layer of the finger. So the fingers one is gonna get a texture. We have selected a right arm of the human. Again, I'm no texture artist, so I don't really know, is this the right arm or is this the right arm? So I'm just gonna do both. <laughs> If you know which one it is, just do the right one. And uh, I wanna select 
all this because this is an arm this is also the texture area of the arm as you've seen it in the beginning you can use any skin and retexture that I'm using the same one so I recycle both on time and resources and uh, I want to color this entirely in the same color that the gloves were in this case it was 494949 as I said easy to memorize paint everything in this style caution you have to click this icon if you don't click it you're gonna get semi transparent pixels as you see in the case below don't do that because that causes glitching so always make sure this icon is displaying square so now I can paint safely this is it save the image as don't save it as the same file because you might overwrite it save it as uh, let's say fingers one so now go to project library fingers one by the way if I'm going too fast just pause the video and go back to the beginning watch it slowly I'm trying to squeeze everything in this video because I'm kind of in a rush lately I've been rushing like crazy so yeah fingers one textures bras now I want to bras for fingers one I don't know where it is this is where it is. So fingers one, open. So now the first half is recolored. Nice, ooh, touching my green screen. I hope that's not visible. Look at this, huh? This is probably very weird for y'all. Like, look at this, bam. <laughs> I have the power, yo. But again, open up this image. And now we want to edit like the bottom two or bottom three pixels. Let's go for three because we did three before, so it's not hard to remember. Now make this the same color as the skin. Also, the bottom should be colored the same way. So let's select the bottom as well. So this square up here. If you already stay, understand, that's fine. If you don't, I'm gonna explain. So save this as fingers two because this is the second layer. Oh, I just burped. Fingers two, texture, bras. Look at this, fingers two, bam. This is your glove. Now, of course, it needs some texture and stuff, but all in all, this works. Select both my fingers, extend it. You know, you see how this looks like. So this finger looks like a finger. <laughs> Plus, you can overlap both of them. If you want this to be exactly like the Oblivion one, just make another instance of the cube. And this is like a fast version of the Oblivion Gloves. Once you're done here, actually, I want to do something else. Select all of these and click the folder icon. This is now all in a folder. Call the folder wrist, because this is going to serve as a wrist. The gloves base should be on the gloves base. So the wrist only locks the lower part. I messed it up. This one is the wrist. So this is the wrist. This wrist is not a wrist. So I'm just going to call it space so it doesn't do anything so this blue cube is what separates the glove from the hand so this blue cube should be locked on the right arm let's say that's it and this is now your wrist so if i rotate this it actually looks like it's the wrist don't worry oblivion's wrist also glitches if you try to move it like this but the point is to have the wrist rotate in fast motion oh did i just delete the bottom one yep i deleted the bottom finger anyway once you're done with this catastrophe select all the components like copy and now drag them on the left arm the wrist which is named the wrist should be rotated the other way this is it now of course when you're gonna make your gloves you're gonna take time with the tech textures and to make it look nice I was rushing it this is the basic mechanism so if I compare this to oblivion it's basically the same thing except so yeah the values are a bit different also this one is using the stretch mechanism if I just go to resize it's kind of different because I use different values here oblivion is obviously more polished because it's my OC rig this one is just for tutorial on how to make the mechanism and stuff now you can do whatever you want use any kind of scale values you want and basically experiment and have fun this is it this is how to create the arms mechanism of course you can try more with the textures and the, the proportions and stuff but this is mostly it so if you like the video let me know and subscribe for more content and also seriously guys join us for the divided premiere it's gonna be lit tell all your friends i'm not desperate i just want you to see it so thank you for watching and stay sharp